Hi, I'm Nick Rodriguez with the Squid Ink Service Team. And today we're going to talk about commissioning your Copilot Max or your Copilot Max 512 printhead. What you're going to want to have on hand before you get started with the commissioning process is a cartridge of internal cleaner, a cartridge of your ink, uh, a handful of lint-free non-abrasive wipes, and a container to catch any uh, spilled out ink. Now some of the reasons you may be doing a commissioning process of your printhead is if you have received a brand new print system from us or have uh, taken your system out of storage or received a printhead or something like that from repair. So when you're ready to start your commissioning process, what you're going to want to do is either place a catch container in the front of your printhead or if you have some spare uh, paper towels or something that will not make contact with the print engine, you can put them in front of the printhead so that it catches any ink that may come out of the nozzles while we're doing the process. Once you've placed your paper towels or rag or your catch basin in front of the printhead, it's time to go ahead and open up your flush cartridge. With in this case, we're going to be using our internal flush cleaner of 1043 uh, for our oil-based inks. So I'm going to go ahead and take out of our bag and insert that into my printhead. Locking it in place. The next step is to go ahead and take your catch beaker and we're going to go down to the drain tube at the back of the print head. We're going to open up that cap, press down the purge button, and watch it flow out of the drain. So open up my cap, go ahead and place that in my beaker. And with my spare hand, press and hold the purge button. Now we're looking to hold that down for about 30, 40 seconds. The main thing we're looking for is to see uh, clean fluids with little to no air bubbles coming out of it. We want a solid stream, which is what you're kind of seeing right now. Our next step will be to go ahead and purge out the fluid out of our nozzle plate at the front of the printhead here. I'm going to take my lid free wipe and fold it so it can fit in my hand like such. And I'm going to place it down at the bottom of the printhead. Now again, I'm going to go over to the back of the printhead and press down and hold the purge button. Now as it's priming, I'm going to go ahead and slowly work my lint free wipe up the print engine and that's going to help force any of the air bubbles that may be inside of that print head out of the head as you can see. So this first step of uh, running internal cleaner through your print head is intended to flush out any shipping fluids or test inks that you may have once you get a new print head or a repaired print head. So what we're going to do first is remove our cleaner cartridge. We'll go ahead and pop that out of place here. Take that, set that to the side. We have our beaker ready and we're going to go ahead and open up our drain tube once again. We're going to press the purge button and we're going to clean out the entire internal manifold and ink system from the cleaner that we have inside. I'm going to go ahead and press down and hold on the purge button. And I'm just going to do this until I see mostly air bubbles coming out of that uh, drain tube. Again, 
getting close. A few more steps and I think we'll have it. There, that's looking pretty good. Again, when you release your purge button, there's gonna be a slight delay in the stepper motors inside, so you wanna make sure you keep your beaker in place. Go ahead and cap my drain tube, make sure that's snug, and now we're gonna go ahead and purge all the solvent and cleaner out of the print engine itself. So again, we're gonna take our lint-free wipe, fold it in our hands, Start at the bottom of the print engine, right there at the opening. Go to the back of the print head and press and hold. And we're looking to drain all that fluid from the print engine itself. Now at this stage of the process, there shouldn't be that much fluid coming out. You should see mostly air, so that's what we're trying to do. I'm looking to see those bubbles almost all the way alongside the print engine itself. Well, it doesn't look like anything else is coming, so we'll go ahead and release and give it a wipe clean. Now that we've purged all of our cleaner out of our print head and flushed out any shipping fluids that could have been inside of it, we're gonna go ahead and install our ink cartridge. In this case, it's our uh, PZ1060 for our oil-based inks on these Max print heads. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the bag and install it in the back of my print head. I'm starting at the top and clicking it down in place. Now we're in our final stage of commissioning. What we're gonna go ahead and do is prime it up with ink. Same steps as we did previously. We're gonna go ahead and open up our drain tube, have a beaker in place to catch that ink, make sure we have something in front of the print head in case something leaks out of the print engine itself. And this time we're looking for good, clean, clean, um, a good clean stream, dark print or dark ink. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this drain tube And get my beaker ready. We'll go ahead and press and hold on the purge button. Now at this stage, you're, it's, it's okay to take about 30 or 40 seconds holding down that purge button. We wanna get as much of the air as possible because after this stage, we're gonna be testing for print quality. And again, it may take a few moments since we completely drained the ink system. So don't be alarmed at first. There we go. And you can see the air bubbles escaping. And what we're looking for is that good solid stream just like that. Now the ink system and the print engine are pretty large, so there's a lot of volume of ink here. Um, the longer you press down and hold that purge button, the more of that air you're gonna be pushing out. So take your time at this phase. There. Cap that line, make sure that's snug, and we're ready to start it from the front. Again, we're going to go out the front of the print engine, so we're going to take a good, clean, lint-free wipe, fold it up in your hand, and once again, start up at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and hold it in place while my other hand goes and presses down and holds on the purge button one more time. 
And as you can see on the print engine, it's gonna slowly go from the bottom all the way to the top, expelling all that ink. Now what I'm looking for is a nice smooth run of ink, no air bubbles or anything like that. And to make sure that that's happening, I'm gonna go slowly up the print engine as I'm pushing down on the purge button to help force out any of those bubbles that could be stuck in the engine itself. Once you're satisfied, you can go ahead and release. Keep your lint-free wipe in place because more ink will come. I'm gonna take another clean wipe here and just clean the face of my print head off. So once you've completed your whole process of commissioning, it's time to go ahead and check the print quality. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get a box together and run it past the print head and see what we've got. Once you've taken a look at how well your print quality, you can go ahead and determine whether or not your print head needs another purge or if it's just fine. If not, you go ahead and hit the purge button and go out the front like we did the first couple of times out of the front of the print engine, catching any ink with that lint-free wipe and moving yourself up as you go. Again, I'm Nick Rodriguez with the Squid Ink Service Team. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking for more, go ahead and find us elsewhere on the web or on YouTube. Thanks.